Hello everyone, welcome back to Mad About Design. In this tutorial, I am going to be showing you how to design this paradoxical gear using Autodesk Fusion 360. If you pay close attention, you can see that these two gears are not connected to each other, yet they are rotating with respect to each other using the motion link. In this tutorial, I am going to show you exactly how to design this paradoxical gear in step by step. Here are the dimensions of the gears and the tools and commands we are going to use in this tutorial. If you are new to this channel, do subscribe to us and turn on the bell notification so that you won't miss any of our new videos. Now without wasting time, let's get into it. First create a new design by going to file and select new design. The unit we are going to use in this tutorial is centimeter. So click OK. First, create a new design on the top plane. Under create, go to fit point spline. Select the first point on the origin, second point here and the third point horizontally aligned with the origin as follows. You can use this control point and the control lines for changing the curve. Now select this control line and make it horizontal. Now under create, go to sketch dimension, select these two points and give a horizontal distance of 23 cm. Now these two point and give a vertical distance of 13 cm. Again same two points and give a horizontal distance of 7.5 cm as follows. Select this line and give it a length of 6 cm. Now go to straight line command, turn on the construction option and draw a horizontal line from the origin up to here. Turn off the construction option. Press D to go to sketch dimension command. Select this line and the horizontal line and give an angle between them 45 degree. Select this line again and give it a length of 6 cm. Select this line and give it an angle of 72.5 degree with the horizontal. Select this line again and give it a length of 4.5 cm as follows. Our sketch is almost complete. Now uncheck the show dimension option in order to view our sketch properly. Now under create, go to circle and draw a circle on this horizontal line and give it a diameter of 6 cm. Press D to go to sketch dimension command, select the center and this point and keep a horizontal distance of 5 cm in between them. Check the show dimension box and arrange these dimensions properly so that we can view our sketch clearly. Hide dimension and constraints. Under create, go to mirror. For the object, select this spline curve and for the mirror line, select the horizontal line. Click OK. Here it looks perfect. Now under modify, go to fillet, select these two curves and give a fillet distance of 0.5 cm in between them. Repeat the same step here and 
provide the same fillet distance of 0.5 cm. Finish sketch. Now create another sketch on the front plane. Draw a straight line from this center of the circle. Now draw a vertical line and give it a distance of 24 cm as follows. Finish sketch. Under create, go to sweep. Type single path and for the profile, select this heart shape profile and for the path, select this vertical line. You can see the body has been extruded. Now we need to do some changes. Change the twist angle to 360 degree so that we can get our actual shape of the gear. Here it is. Orientation, perpendicular and click OK. Now it looks OK. Turn on the visibility of our sketch one. Go to extrude command. Select this circular profile. Extrude it up to 27 cm. Change the operation to new body. Direction, two sides. And in the bottom side, extrude it up to 3 cm. Click OK. Now the first part of our paradoxical gear is complete. Select all the shapes and figures. Go to move command. So we need to select the bodies again. So select the body 1 and body 2 that is our axis and the first gear. Check the create copy option and move it up to minus 26 centimeter. So that you can see there is a small gap in between them or you can say it is the allowance in between these two gears. If you want, you can increase that too. I am going to give an allowance of 0.25 cm extra or change it to minus 0.1 cm. I think 0.25 cm allowance is great. So let it be. Now create another sketch on the top of this paradoxical gear. Under create, go to slot and choose the center to center slot. Select the first point on the center of this circle and the second point on the center of this one. I mean the circle. Now give it a dia of 6 cm. Under modify, go to offset command, select the slot and offset it up to 2 cm. Now we have a profile of slot. Finish sketch. Press E to go to extrude command, select this profile and drag it upward up to 3 cm. Change the operation to new body and Click OK. I am going to create a copy of this profile in the bottom side. So press M to go to move command, select this body, check the create copy option, drag it downward up to minus 28 or minus 27 centimeter. 
click ok so here is our bodies almost ready here you can see all of our bodies under bodies folder now right click on bodies folder and click on create components from bodies so all of our bodies will be converted into components here you can see now you can easily move your components and they are not joined together in order to make them joined we need to apply some assembly in between them but before that we need to ground two components select the component 5 and component 6 and right click make them ground so they won't move from their original position whereas the gears can easily move and the axis too revert back to original position now I'm going to apply the motions in between them that is the joints so under assembly go to as build joint for the component one select this one and for the component two select the first axis joint type rigid I want them to be joined rigidly together click ok right click and repeat as build joint repeat the same steps for this axis joint up rigid and click ok now it's time for the gears under assembly go to as build joint again this time select this gear and the axis change the joint type to revolute we need to provide the snap so for the snap select this surface of our axis now it's rotating properly so click ok we're going to repeat the same step for our second gear so select the gear and the axis for the snap select this surface it is rotating properly so click ok now it's almost done now if i rotate our gear one you can see the gear 2 is not rotating and they are colliding with each other. Revert back to original position. In order to fix this, we need to provide motion link. So if gear 1 rotates, gear 2 will rotate with respect to gear 1. To do so, go to assembly and click on motion link. For joints, under joints, select revolve 3 and revolve 4 angle 1 360 degree angle 2 360 degree so for 360 degree rotation of our gear 1 our gear 2 will rotate up to 360 degree now if we right click on revolve 3 and animate model here you can see the paradoxical gear is working properly hide the joints now if I rotate manually the gear 1 you can see the gear 2 is also rotating. Animate model again. Here it is working properly. Revert back to its original position. Press A to apply some color on our gear mechanism. I am going to apply the yellow, red and black color on them. Provide additional white color. Yeah that's it right click and animate model it is working properly thank you guys for watching this video i hope you learned something new in this tutorial see you in the next tutorial till then keep designing and design whatever you love if you guys have any suggestions and recommendations please let me know in the comment section bye bye